Hi, I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Frenchy Co. SL Speed Backpack, which I've been testing for two weeks. It's got a lot of interesting features going on, some of which have some quirks to them, so we'll get into those later. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe so we can keep bringing you videos to help you travel smarter. Let's jump in. Okay, so this is a 23 liter bag and the main material is water resistant ballistic nylon. We have some other water resistant features going on here too. We've got water resistant zippers, which work really well, although going around the corner sometimes is a little, you know, requires a little more effort as we find with a lot of water resistant zippers. They also have, you can see, they've got these little zipper garages at the top of all of them to help keep moisture out even further. So that is all nice because you want to protect your stuff. The other material we've got going is Italian leather. We've got it, the trim here where it says the Frenchie Co. at the top here. There's also some at the bottom and also with the carry handles, which the leather does, it still smells really great, which is either good if you like leather or not good if you're opposed to leather and it's sort of a you know reminder of that to you. You do you, keep that in mind. The handles themselves, this one at the top is really just good for hanging it on a hook. It's sort of narrow. I wouldn't carry it by it because it's so narrow, but these ones on the side, you could carry it briefcase style with them or also it helps when you're trying to get into the pack while it's on your shoulder. It helps sort of give you a little bit extra grip there. I'm gonna flip around here just to the back just so you can see there's also a luggage pass through which it's a little off center but it does, it, it functions pretty well on, on a luggage handle even though it's off center it still supports your bag nicely. So that's a nice add-on as well. The all the hardware, the zippers and the hardware are unbranded, but they do work pretty well. We've got these slides here. You got the little French Bulldog logo there. And um, they don't come undone really easily. I think because they added this little webbing strap here across, which really locks it down. So that's really nice and then it, it keeps it from just sort of sliding out, which I have saw on a previous version of this bag. So they've made an improvement, really appreciate that improvement there. Okay, so the shoulder straps are padded and very comfortable. They, the padding doesn't extend all the way up top, so you have a lot of flexibility of movement, that's great. We've got two card sleeves and two attachment points down here to keep your keys, or your bus pass close at hand, that's awesome. The shoulder straps themselves are self-adjusting. So as you see, you pull one and the other one goes in. So no matter how you grab it, you'll be able to get the perfect fit just by like cinching it around. It's something you just have to play with, but it, it is, it's doable. And then the back panel is also padded until you get down to this part, which is just hard and it's because it's got this magnet in it for this back flap, okay? And the back flap serves three purposes. One, it's a security feature because you can see it, it blocks the main compartment zippers. It's got a pocket we'll talk about later and it also acts as a load lifter, which we'll talk about soon, but it's a very interesting feature. Okay, so the overall look is, is rather sleek and professional. It does have some sagging here at the top that is hard to get rid of. The overall comfort is fine with a few exceptions. We've got this water bottle holder which sort of bumps up against your rear depending on how tall you are. So that's annoying. And also the back panel the back flap back here digs into your lower back. It's somehow not very uncomfortable. You can just sort of feel it's there. Now what you are supposed to do is pull it down and then stick it in the top of your pants for weight distribution, which it does distribute the weight, 
but at the cost of stretching out the top of your pants, which I do not like at all, so. Okay, so we've got quite a few external pockets to go through on here. You can see we've got these two long diagonal zippers on the front and they both open to shallow pockets that face in towards the middle. Okay, so this one you can fit, I've got a tiny toiletry bag there. And then this one also has some additional, it's got a couple of just loose pockets here for sliding in like a passport or other small gear. You can keep things a little more contained. Just keep in mind, I mean, even though everything's sliding in sideways, there's gravity. So especially in this one, things just slide down. It's sort of hard to pack that way. Then on either side, we have these thinner, um, we have these little slip pockets here, which are good for like pens, or I've got my wallet in the mm -hmm. other one. Um, I did find myself mostly using the ones on this side, on the right, because this is the side you end up opening for the main compartment, as we'll get to soon. So I'd put, you know, the things I use most here. There's that. Now, flipping around back to that back flap pocket that I said we'd get to, it's for your phone. Um, so you can slide in a phone so that you can access it while it's on your back. You're supposed to be able to pop this flap down, undo it, grab your phone, and then stick it back in. I'm not coordinated enough to do that. Plus, like every time I try to do that, I would, when I flip this back up, I'd catch my shirt. It's just, it was not something that I really liked doing. Besides the fact that then putting a phone in here makes this even thicker, so it's really digging into your back. That's that. Now, the last thing to talk about is the water bottle holder. The bottle holder is an add-on, but if you're going to add it on, um, Let's look at it. There's this, this like piece of plastic down here that is going to be there no matter what. And then you've got this, it attaches via a fidlock, which is kind of nifty. It's just kind of hard to use in practice, I found. Um, so you, you loosen this up by pulling the boa and then it loosens up these wires and you can slide in your water bottle and then you push it down and then turn it to the right to lock it in place. And it does, you can see it holds your bottle really nicely. So that's awesome. But then the whole point of this water bottle holder is to be able to get it on and off while it's on your back. And I can get it off while it's on my back. That's not a problem. The problem is, is sort of finagling it back on. You do want to make sure that you remember which way your bottle was facing when you took it off because otherwise if you try to do it opposite like magnets repel they won't attract so there's that and then but even doing that i found it was just really difficult to find the right way to maneuver it back on um, maybe y'all are more coordinated than i am but uh, this is not a feature that I found actually to speed up any process. And because of how low it hung, it's not something I really enjoyed. All right, so the Frenchy Co. SL Speed Backpack, it opens slightly differently than most backpacks. It doesn't open around the top here. It actually opens around the bottom. So you can see we've got the zipper that goes all the way down and around the bottom so that you can completely open it clamshell should you so choose. Um, see, like that. But how we mostly do it, I'm gonna show you, most always open it from the right because all of the organization in here faces to the right. So we've got a laptop sleeve, a lightly padded laptop sleeve, and it's held in with this webbing loop that snaps in place, so that's great. And then, I'll take this out so you can see more. We've got um, sort of an 11 inch wide pocket here, which is, is good for a tablet, or you can squeeze in a wireless keyboard, but it's a tight fit. 
And then we've just got some other pockets, sort of use as you wish kind of a thing. We got two eight inch pockets here. And then on the opposite side, we've got eight inch square pockets, but you can see everything is just sort of this liner material. It doesn't have any like elastic to hold things tight. So it's really, you need, you need pouches and stuff to contain tiny things because otherwise they're just gonna fall all out. Also, you know, if you open it up, if I'm, I'm not gonna do it, but if you, if you have the zippers all open and you, and you do it to, and you open it over here, everything's falling out from the other side. So when, when you do tip it like this, you can sort of hear things fall out, but then they do slide back in place. So that's nice. But the whole point of this is so that when you've got this on, like when you're wearing it as a backpack, you can just turn it around and easily access, you know, an, a, something you need really quickly. So that's really nice. Now, you may be wondering why we've never talked about the front flap here, because it seems like, shouldn't that be a pocket or something? So no, this is actually an expansion feature. So if you flip it, we open this main compartment, and you flip this up, you will see, I can reach in here. It's an ac extra four liters of space. So it's enough room for, let's see, I put in this packing cube, but I can squeeze in another packing cube, and then it goes up there. Now again, if, you, um, if you're doing this, it's probably easiest if you open it from the bottom and then you know use gravity to sort of pack it out that way. But, so then you have another, so then you have a 27 liter backpack instead of a 23 liter backpack. But then I do have to say, then when you're walking around, you're, you've got a backpack that's just sticking up like this and it's bumping the back of your head. So you may want to just, instead of using this, maybe go with a packable bag instead. You can probably fit it in there and not even need this space. Also, do want to mention when you decide not to do use that you take it out it the fabric requires a little bit of finagling to get it smooth again and then to click back into place with the magnet so that's probably what leads to some of that like caving in that i was talking about it just doesn't um, work out so well that way so there you have it the frenchie co sl speed backpack thanks for keeping it here at pack hacker your guide to smarter travel and we'll see you in the next one